the 10 principles of economics in a simple college way. The following are examples of how all 10 principles are related to my daily life in college. Principle number one, people face trade-offs. An example of this is that I have an economics and a history test tomorrow. If I study all night for economics, I'm trading my time that I could be studying history for economics. Principle number two, the cost of something is what you give up to get it. The opportunity cost of going out on a night before a big exam is the time that you could have spent studying for your test the next day. Principle number three, rational people think at the margin. The question is usually not whether to always go to class or never to go to class. It's usually whether I can afford not to go to my 8 o'clock class because I'm tired or whether I can not afford to go. Principle number four, people respond to incentives. My parents say they will give me $1,000 if I make all A's this semester. You better believe I'll be working harder for that money. Principle number five, trade can make everyone better off. My friend and I each go to class one out of the two days a week we have a lecture. And I take notes for her and she takes notes for me on the day she goes to class. The days that we don't have to go to class, we each can sleep in that morning, so it makes us better off. Principle number six. Markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity. The invisible hand effectively guides me to what I demand and buy as a college student here at Georgia Southern University. Principle number seven. Governments can sometimes improve market economies. Because the government enforces property rights, restaurants will serve me because they are assured I will pay for my meal at the end. Principle number eight. A country's standard of living depends on its ability to produce goods and services. The United States' productivity is very large. Therefore, we are all able to have better health care, nutrition, and goods than lower-income countries. Principle number nine. Prices rise when the government prints too much money. If inflation were to occur today, I may not have enough money to buy my weekly ramen noodles at the grocery store. Principle number 10, society faces a short-run trade-off between inflation and unemployment. If every business in America hires more people, they will need more money to pay them, which may cause short-term inflation, but at the same time, it lowers the unemployment rate. These were the 10 principles of economics in a simple way. I hope you realize now how economics is always in your daily life. Thank you.